The King's Avatar, Chapter 1566, Powerless Ambush, Audio Source, Wushar World Audiobook.com. Chapter 1566, Powerless Ambush. Translator, Nomiami Editor, Nomiami. Tyranny slowed their steps as they approached the canyon exit. Up above, Yi Xu's Lord Grimm was still harassing them. On the other hand, Su Mu Chung's dancing rain had already disappeared. Had she gone over to the canyon exit in preparation to ambush them? Tyranny was in the dark, but they had no intention of cowering. They simply slowed down, putting on a safer and more cautious attitude as they exited the canyon. Left. Right. Each of the five members of Tyranny looked in a different direction as soon as they exited the canyon. Both left and right. Wyvern, Thunder Eagle, Spirit Cat, Frost Wolf. Two above, two below hiding to the left and right of the exit. Concealed Light had summoned his four beasts and had him lie in wait for Tyranny to come. As soon as Tyranny rushed out, before the summons moved, a cannon shot could be heard. Dancing Rain, who had rushed down from the canyon wall AEAD of time, also came to the exit to set up an ambush. When she saw Tyranny, she immediately attacked. Artillery shells and the four beasts flew towards Tyranny. At the same time, a Devil's World flower appeared in the center of Tyranny's formation. Boom boom. Explosions sounded, not just once either. Dancing Rain's artillery fire had arrived. However, a grenade had also been thrown by Dazzling Hundred Blossoms. At the same time, three fists swung towards the Devil World flower. The poor Devil World flower had only dug halfway out from the ground, its petals still unfolding, when Tyranny instantly destroyed it. Tyranny had been on guard against an ambush. Now that an ambush had come, they were ready. With one glance, they saw how the four beasts were arranged, as well as dancing Rain's position. The Devil World Flower had no chance to sneak attack them. Before it could even display its abilities, it was destroyed. Then, the entire team turned right and rushed out. Tyranny ignored the Wyvern and Frost Wolf to their left, as well as dancing Rain firing from afar. All of them headed right towards the Thunder Eagle and Spirit Cat. Behind them was their summoner, Concealed Light. From rushing out of the canyon, examining their situation, dodging the cannon fire, killing the Devil World Flower, and rushing towards the right, all of it had taken place in less than a second. Let alone being shaken by the ambush, Tyranny didn't even let their opponents take the initiative. Not even a second had passed, and their counter-attack had begun. Their entire focus was on concealed light. In an instant, Happy seemed to be in a dire situation. Thunder Eagle. Spirit Cat. Tyranny wasn't concerned with these two summons. Zhang Jia Lei's dazzling hundred blossoms attacked as he moved. The Thunder Eagle swayed unsteadily as it was shot. The spirit cat moved about nimbly like a shadow, but in the next second, an imprint of a punch appeared on the shadow. The spirit cat was knocked several steps back, before rolling on the ground and disappearing. Emperor's Fist. It was a high-level striker skill, instantly killing the spirit cat. Who had used it? Everyone thought that it was Han Wenking's Desert Dust, but when they saw who it was, they realized that it had come from Song Qing's River Sunset. Beautiful. Han Wenking praised. Desert Dust charged forward. In the blink of an eye, Tyranny had eliminated the two summons. Luo Ji's only choice was to retreat, and Concealed Light was already backing away. This was Happy's ambush. This obviously couldn't be all. Soft Mist had been healed to full health by Enwenyi. With her spear raised, she rushed out towards Tyranny from behind Concealed Light. Even so, no one thought that anything would change. The terrain surrounding the canyon exit was rather simple. There was no way to set up any elaborate ambushes. 
All anyone could do was make the first move when the enemy side rushed out. This sort of ambush couldn't threaten tyranny. Happy wasn't able to establish any sort of advantage with their initiation, and in the blink of an eye, tyranny had turned it around on them. Of the five creatures summoned by concealed light, only three were left. He wasn't even able to use Elemental Beast King formation before his summons died. The long-range Dancing Rain had no way to stop tyranny either. All Tang Ro's soft mist could do was protect Luo Ji for a bit. How could she contend against the entirety of tyranny alone? As for Yi Xu, Yi Xu's Lord Grimm was hopping down from the canyon wall. His rapid descent looked imposing, but how could he be the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs? Even so, tyranny paid the most attention to Yi Xu's Lord Grimm. The approaching soft mist could easily be held off. Brick. Lin Jingyan's dark thunder lifted his hands and threw a brick towards Lord Grimm. Hua. The myriad manifestations umbrella opened up, blocking the brick. But Han Wen King used Yi Xu's dead angle from opening the umbrella to close in and let out a punch. It's a counterattack, Zhang Xinji warned. Previously, when Yi Xu had broken past him to rescue Fang Rui, Zhang Xinji had been paying close attention to him. In the end, he hadn't noticed the magnetic field coil being placed down either. When he thought back the scene of Lord Grimm fishing something out from his umbrella might have been Lord Grimm placing down the magnetic field coil. Unfortunately, he hadn't been able to call back then. However, experience was accumulated bit by bit. Zhang Xinji was already aware that to call out Yi Xu's moves might be impossible with only one person. Not only did his myriad manifestations umbrella making things complicated by opening up such a wide range of skills, Yi Xu could also use it to hide his character's movements. As a result, when Lord Grimm jumped down from the canyon wall, Zhang Xinji's immovable rock had moved to a different angle to observe Lord Grimm's movements. When the myriad manifestations umbrella opened, immovable rock moved to Lord Grimm's side. He saw that after the umbrella opened, the canvas separated from the umbrella rod. The canvas was a shield. In the other hand was something else, but either way, it was a common move from knights. Through his different viewpoint, Zhang Xinji was able to immediately determine what skill Lord Grimm would likely use. Maelstrom counterattack. It was a skill where the shield absorbed a blow, while the other hand counterattacked. When the Knight Awakening skill, Knight Spirit, was used, the skill transformed into a Ronis Maelstrom counterattack, reflecting the damage back fully. Lord Grimm couldn't learn Knight Spirit. His Maelstrom counterattack was only level 1, so the reflected damage was rather limited. But the damage was secondary. This sort of counterattack was enough to disrupt Tyranny's current formation and tempo. WashaWorldAudio.com. Luckily, Zhang Xinji had noticed it and promptly gave out a warning. Desert Dust immediately stopped his punch and jumped out of the way. For Maelstrom counterattack to work, the opponent had to attack first. It couldn't be used as a standalone attack. The previous second, Tyranny had been lying in wait for Lord Grimm. The next second, Lord Grimm had become nothing but heir to them. Han Wenqing and Lin Jingyan went to help River Sunset take down Soft Mist. By now, Zhang Jialei's dazzling Hundred Blossom had killed off the Thunder Eagle. He turned fire, keeping the Frost Wolf and Wyvern at bay. The health of summoned creatures wasn't nearly as precious as a player's. Oftentimes, sacrificing some health to attack was okay. However, Spitfire attacks didn't only deal damage. The vast majority of their bullets had special effects. By using these additional effects, blocking off two summons wasn't in anything difficult for Zhang Jialei. The situation was completely under tyranny's control.
Lord Grimm's descent became rather embarrassing. Lord Grimm had indeed prepared a maelstrom counterattack. Ye Zhu had predicted that tyranny would focus him. As soon as he came down, he would certainly be attacked, so use a maelstrom counterattack to scatter them. That was Yi Xu's plan. But this time, Zhang Xinji had seen through it. Tyranny had completely avoided him. His maelstrom counterattack immediately became worthless. Yi Xu wasn't able to see Tyranny's team chat, but seeing how Tyranny had seen through his plan, trying to make his plan work would be a waste of time. Charge. Yi Xu cancelled Maelstrom counterattack. His myriad manifestations umbrella form didn't change forms. He used another night skill to make his way towards them. But Tyranny had seen through it once again. Han Wenqing and Lin Jingyan had only pretended to go attack Soft Mist. In reality, their attention had been on Lord Grimm. They weren't surprised by Yi Xu's quick decision to give up on the Maelstrom counterattack. Desert Dust twisted his body and swung his arm, collapsing fist, directly towards the incoming Lord Grimm. End chapter. The King's Avatar. Chapter 1567 Push and Pull. Audio source. WushaWorldAudiobook.com. Chapter 1567 Push and Pull. Translator. Nomiyami Editor. Nomiyami. Desert Dust's fist struck Lord Grimm's myriad manifestations umbrella. These two rivals of ten years would always clash against each other, neither one backing down. Lord Grimm's charge was stopped, while Desert Dust stumbled back. The knight's charge had slightly higher priority than collapsing fist. With this advantage, getting past Desert Dust was an easy matter. The problem was that Han Wenqing wasn't the only person that Yi Xu need to get past. Tiger flips the mountain. Yi Xu had opened a path past Desert Dust, but Lin Jingyan's Dark Thunder blocked it with a Tiger flips the mountain. Yi Xu had no way to advance and could only retreat. During this time, Han Wenqing was able to stabilize his Desert Dust. Dark Thunder's Tiger Flips the Mountain had missed, so he quickly followed it with his own attack. Launching Kick. Desert Dust flew through the air with a kick. If it was a 1v1, Launching Kick was a very punishable attack. However, Hang Wenqing had an experienced helper, Lin Jingyan, by his side, who would patch up any openings. Yi Xu could only have Lord Grimm jump back again. He unsheathed a sword from his umbrella, sending out a sword draw. Han Wenqing and Lin Jingyan were in a 2v1 situation, and they didn't hesitate to take advantage of it. Lin Jingyan's Dark Thunder put up his arms, tanking the sword draw. Han Wenqing's Desert Dust rushed out again. Lord Grimm raised his sword, following with an earthquake sword. Yi Zhu had slashed horizontally and vertically with these two low-level skills, Mick in the Berserker's Gore Cross. The sword draw was blocked by Lin Jingyan. The earthquake sword seized this small gap. Han Wenqing had rushed out too quickly and had no time to react to it. The earthquake sword swept him up along with the earth. Yi Zhu didn't dare continue fighting. He immediately used a shadow clone technique, his two hands quickly forming the seals. Dark Thunder closed in and swiped his claws at him, but he was too slow. Lord Grimm's shadow clone disappeared into smoke as the real body moved away safely. Turn around, falling flower palm. Lord Grimm attacked again, coordinating with soft mist. Tang Ro had been blocked by Song Qing. At the moment, their fight was even. But Lord Grimm's sudden appearance caught Song Qing off guard. With the pa, Song Qing's river sunset was sent flying towards Zhang Xinji's immovable rock. Each and every detail on the battlefield had been considered by Yi Xu. Although his maelstrom counterattack had been seen through, his following attacks had given tyranny quite some trouble. 
a movable rock dodged river sunset, but Su Chung's dancing rain decided that it was time to give him special care and coordinated with Lord Grimm's falling flower palm. Dancing rain had fired a satellite beam right where immovable rock had dodged to. In an instant, immovable rock was swallowed by the light. The damage dealt by satellite beam wasn't low, but it was as if it hadn't affected tyranny in the slightest. River Sunset ignored it. A movable rock ignored it. After destroying Lord Grimm's shadow clone, Lin Jingyun's dark thunder gave chase, throwing out a paralysis needle. As for Han Wenqing's desert dust, the earthquake sword had knocked him back, but by twisting his body, he was able to spring off the wave of earth. Desert dust rolled and then sprinted forward. In the blink of an eye, he had closed the distance. In contrast, Soft Mist's spear seemed dull and slow. Punch. His fists moved like a blur as they twinkled with light. Bang, 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 bang. Lord Grimm and Soft Mist were both hit by the flurry of punches. Striker level 75 skill, light speed punch. The speed of light was just a description. It wasn't so fast that it couldn't block. However, the attack came out far faster than most other skills. The after images formed from the skill were rather deceiving as a result. Lord Grimm and Soft Mist were knocked back. The tyranny crowd erupted into cheers. They were beaten. The viewers all thought the same, but not Han Wen King. The two looked as if they had been sent flying, but in reality, both of them had jumped back. To put it more precisely, the light speed punch had landed as they jumped back, making them lose their balance. A loss of balance wouldn't pose a problem for those two just based on the fact that they had been able to react so quickly and jump back. Attack. Continue attacking. Don't give the enemy any room to breath. Han Wenqing thought to himself. Desert Dust had already charged forward, but he hadn't expected them to counter-attack before even steadying themselves. Cloud Whirling Storm. Tang Rose Soft Mist had been able to sneak in a high-level skill. Soft Mist didn't know what she would need to do to balance herself when she landed. It was very easy to mess up one's rhythm when attacking under these circumstances. Usually, most players would use a quick low-level skill to defend themselves, but she unexpectedly decided to use a high-level skill instead. Magic danced around her spear and then burst out. This is Cloud Whirling Storm. Dark Thunder immediately stopped. Lin Jingyan had originally thought that he had enough space to circle around it, but when the cloud whirling storm burst forth the range of the magic AoE was far greater than he had expected. It moved extremely irregularly too, so he had no way to predict where it would move to. What is this? The camera switched over to Soft Mist's perspective. She had used the skill while adjusting her balance. Because of her multitasking, her control over the cloud whirling storm was rather messy, but this messiness was what made it unpredictable. Lin Jingyan was gloomy. He knew that the paralysis needle he had thrown struck his target. Lord Grimm wasn't moving, no. It was because the moment that he had jumped back, the paralysis needle had hit him, putting him in a paralyzed state. If they could catch and kill him, their victory would be certain. Lin Jingyan grit his teeth. Dark Thunder immediately activated reinforced iron bones and charged into the cloud whirling storm. The magic assaulted Dark Thunder, crackling as it burned away his health. But with his super armor, Dark Thunder was able to quickly move through it. Powerful Knee Strike Dark Thunder immediately leapt towards Lord Grimm, who had yet to land on the ground. Bang. He had only made it halfway through before hitting a target. A spirit cat pounced into the air, intercepting Dark Thunder. The spirit cats had lower priority than Dark Thunder's powerful knee strike, but it could still take the hit in place of someone else. Dark Thunder landed on the ground, while the spirit cat rolled to the side. 
It was then quickly killed, leaving behind a piece of scorched earth. Zhang Jialei's dazzling hundred blossoms had cleared away the summons behind him by now and had shifted his attention to this side. But just when he turned around, concealed light resummoned his dead beasts. As a result, Han Wenqing quickly went to finish off the spirit cat blocking Dark Thunder. The elemental beast king formation created through the four beasts was nothing to be scoffed at. As a result, when facing a four beast style summoner, killing off one of the beasts to prevent it from coming into play was very crucial. WashaWorldAudio.com. The spirit cat was instantly killed. The newly summoned Thunder Eagle, Wyvern, and Frost Wolf continued to harass their enemies fearlessly. Ye Zhu. Lin Jingyan shouted in the chat. There was no time to lose. Tyranny was about to attack Yi Xu's Lord Grimm, when they saw a bright light shine on top of Lord Grimm before dissipating. Lord Grimm landed on the ground and rolled. A black shadow slithered from his sleeves, shadow cloak. Everyone on Tyranny was experienced enough to recognize that bright light. Purify, a paladin skill that dispelled debuffs and status effects from the target's body. Happy's healer, and when Yi, had chosen it to put on his little cold hands weapon. It was a level 1 purify, and could only remove one status effect. However, Lord Grimm only had one status effect on him, paralysis. After being purified, he could immediately move normally again. He quick recovered and used Shadow Cloak. Tyranny was able to react in time though, if not, Lord Grimm would have been able to catch all of them. The initiative was still held by Tyranny though. After dodging the Shadow Cloak, Tyranny immediately pushed forward again. Happy pulled back. Lord Grimm and Soft Mist coordinated with Concealed Light summons, protecting Concealed Light and Little Cold Hand, attacking and retreating. Su Mu Chung's Dancing Rain wandered around on the edges of the battlefield, harassing and disrupting Tyranny's offensive maneuvers. But Tyranny continued to push forward. Although it was a 5v5 again, Tyranny still had a sixth player that could be subbed in. They had the numbers advantage which allowed him to be bolder and make aggressive moves. Bold and aggressive was exactly what Tyranny was best at. Their offense was relentless. Happy was unable to escape from it. They could only face it, fighting while retreating. Wave after wave of tears came from Tyranny's fans. As long as Tyranny kept up this pressure, it seemed as if Tyranny's victory would only be a matter of time. However, Tyranny's players weren't celebrating yet. They didn't dare get careless. Careful, Zhang Xinji typed into the team chat. In his eyes, although Happy was retreating, they weren't retreating because they had no other choice. Their control over their tempo was quite firm. The direction of their retreat was within the grasp. Happy was waiting for an opportunity to counter-attack. Zhang Xinji was certain of it. Did that mean this opportunity was lying in wait in the direction that they were retreating towards? That area was the center of the map, the Seven Color Springs. It was an area that Tyranny had never ventured into. Was there a feature in that area that could be taken advantage of by Happy? Was it another area that could collapse? Dot dot. Seeing concealed light now and then recalling how happy had only now come together as five after so long, Zhang Xinji couldn't help but think of this possibility. End chapter. The King's Avatar. Chapter 1568 Switch. Audio source. WushaWorldAudiobook.com. Chapter 1568 Switch. Translator. Nomiami Editor. Nomiami. Who should we send to scout out the terrain? This was Zhang Xinji's first thought, but he quickly dispelled it. On paper, tyranny should be stronger than happy, but if one of their members left to scout their surroundings, it would be a 4v5. Right now, happy was on the defensive. A 4v5 under these circumstances wouldn't be too big of an issue, but circumstances could change. 
if it became a 4v5, Happy would certainly turn on him and attack. Ye Zhu wasn't someone who would just stay idle at such a prime opportunity. We can't send someone out to scout AEAD. We can only see what we can do given our present situation. Does Luo Ji really have that sort of talent? When Zhang Xinji's gaze shifted towards concealed light, he couldn't help but think of this question. The vast majority of people considered Luo Ji's talent at seeing through the terrain with a single glance was a bluff and couldn't be believed. But it wasn't as if it was impossible. For someone like Zhang Xinji, it would constantly weigh on his mind. He even guessed that this might have been Happy's goal, but there was nothing he could do about it. He wasn't paranoid about it or anything. He would simply take it into account when he made his plans. The terrain collapsing was only one of many possibilities. It might not be the case. Perhaps it might just be that the terrain gave Happy certain advantages that they could use against tyranny. Be more cautious and continue with their pursuit. It would be a perfectly good option under normal circumstances, but what if it was a trap? In the end, the safest option seemed to be to shy away from Happy's preferred route. Zhang Shenji concluded after careful consideration. Increase our aggression. He gave out an order to tyranny. Han Wenqing was the first to understand his intentions. He was also the first to carry out the order. Desert Dust had just forced Soft Mist back. With a step forward, he followed up with a kick. Soft Mist blocked the kick with her spear. To Desert Dust's side, Lord Grimm sneakily sent out a circle swing. Cloud Body, Double Tiger Palm. Desert Dust twisted his body, just barely dodging Lord Grimm's umbrella. Then, he followed with a double tiger palm, one palm towards Lord Grimm, and the other towards Soft Mist. Lord Grimm jumped back and dodged it. Soft Mist sidestepped it and then slid forward, stabbing towards Desert Dust with a dragon tooth. Han Wenking didn't dodge or block it, striking back with a straight punch. Desert Dust avoided the Dragon Tooth using the dash provided by the skill, while simultaneously throwing a punch towards Lord Grimm. But as Lord Grimm jumped back, Ye Zhu counterattacked, using a Dragon Tooth as well. The Dragon Tooth collided with Desert Dust's straight punch. Both sides trembled from the impact. Neither skill trumped the other, an even match. The words, increase our aggression, wasn't a buff. It didn't mean the team's battle strength would suddenly rise to another level. To be more aggressive, the players need to make adjustments to the tempo of the match. To put it simply, it was to shift the balance between offense and defense towards offense. In other words, sacrifice defense for offense. The outcome would be more aggressive exchanges. When one would normally choose to dodge or defend, one would instead continue to attack. Taking more damage didn't matter. Desert Dust straight punch didn't seem to embody this philosophy, but Han Wenking had made his decisions with it in mind. The main purpose of the straight punch had been to deal damage to Lord Grimm. Dodging Soft Mist's Dragon Tooth was simply in the passing. It could be seen as a reflection of Han Wenking's many years of experience. Even if attacking was his priority, it was best to minimize the damage. Soft Mist's Dragon Tooth had missed, but Han Wenking wouldn't be able to dodge her next attacks. Soft Mist followed with a double stab, both strikes hitting Desert Dust. At the same time, a grenade appeared in front of her face. With a boom, Soft Mist was thrown to the side. Soft Mist immediately rolled to reduce the impact. Lin Jingyun's Dark Thunder was rushing towards her, when a black shadow cut him off. Concealed Light Spirit Cap pounced towards Dark Thunder. The team competition was closely linked together. As soon as Han Wenking became more aggressive, the rest of the team followed. In response to Tyranny's sudden aggression, Happy immediately responded with a tighter defense. 
Zhang Shenji immediately became even busier. Not only did he need to carefully survey the situation, these intense trades were a test for healers. As the team's biggest support, if the healer wasn't able to keep up, Happy would likely take advantage of it and find an opening. Small heal, great cure, focus, God's protection, spirit enlightenment, sacred fire. White glow poured out from immovable rocks backlight cross. Glory's number one healer was number one for a reason. Despite such a complex and chaotic battle taking place, his cleric was the most eye-catching one. When measuring a cleric's performance, the easiest way to do so was to look at the health on the respective teams. At the moment, the health on Tyranny's five members were lined up together, bouncing up and down like a song. As for the musician, a movable rock was given a close-up along with the movement of the health bars. His movements weren't nearly as graceful as the health bars. A movable rock was traveling back and forth amidst artillery fire. His originally spotless robe had turned into a mess. How could Happy not have noticed Tyranny's increased aggression? Interfering with the healer was the counter to aggressive trades. Happy was aware of this point, but Tyranny was aware of it too. As a result, close-ranged fighters like Soft Mist weren't able to even get close to a movable rock. However, Soft Mist was Happy's easiest member to block. Su Mu Chung's dancing rain wandered around the edges of the battlefield. Tyranny's three fighters couldn't touch her. Only Zhang Jialei's dazzling hundred blossoms could fire back, but the threat he posed to her was extremely limited. Dazzling hundred blossoms had consumed an enormous amount of mana setting up light covers in the previous fights. Right now, he need to play more conservatively. He couldn't maintain a cover of light, and in terms of attack range, Spitfire's lost to launches. Su Muchung wasn't the only one Zhang Jiale need to deal with either. The Wyvern and Frost Eagle summoned by Concealed Light were flying beasts. The three fighters naturally had a much harder time against these summons compared to a long-range gunner like him. As a result, Zhang Jiale need to keep both Dancing Rain and Concealed Light busy. Finally, Yi Xu's Lord Grimm was the most annoying and most nauseating enemy. Lord Grimm was both a close-ranged and a long-ranged threat. If you focused on him, he was like a general with a hundred tricks up his sleeves. If you ignored him, he would take any chance he could get to attack a movable rock and interrupt his healing. There were numerous forces trying to disrupt a movable rock, trying to destroy Tyranny's aggression and force Tyranny into defense. During the most critical moments, Tyranny's vice-captain would keep ordering for Tyranny to maintain the same tempo. Keep up the aggression. Keep up the aggression. Han Wenqing and Zhang Xinji would say the same thing. As a result, Tyranny continued to attack and put pressure on Happy, minimizing their protection over Zhang Xinji to restrict Happy's freedom. Tyranny was able to keep up this tempo going, but Zhang Xinji need to deal with the attacks coming towards him on his own. Dodge and Tank A movable rock dealt with the attacks this way, while preserving his healing. The difficult situations that he faced along with the harmonious healing that he produced were two intense opposites, making it even more clear just how skilled Zhang Xinji was. Attack while ignoring defense. For defense, the others on tyranny would be relying on Zhang Xinji. How could this sort of tyranny lose? Tyranny had won. Happy had no way to deal with Zhang Xinji. This was what countless people thought. Tyranny's fans had already started shouting victory cries. The threat of the Seven Color Springs. Could Happy even hold on until then? Even if they could, how many of them would be left? What else can Happy do? The pro players in the chat group were discussing this question. When they watched matches, they would pretend that they were the ones playing the match. If they were winning, how could they widen the lead? If they were losing, how could they bring it back? 
The chat group became a war room. People would put in their thoughts, while others would argue against it. Their words were like a simulation of the battle. It's time to go all in. Tiny Herb Wang GXC said. He was referring to Happy, of course. If Tyranny kept this up without making a mistake, they would win. Happy need to do something to save themselves. Everyone knew that interrupting Zhang Xinji was key. From the looks of it, disrupting Zhang Xinji was the only way to affect tyranny significantly. But doing so wasn't easy. Happy had interrupted Zhang Xinji's healing here and there, but it wasn't enough. Once or twice would throw off tyranny's rhythm. Right now, Happy need to completely suppress Zhang Xinji's immovable rock to turn around the situation. Attack. Forcing their way through was Happy's last remowing option. Their focus would need to be Zhang Xinji's immovable rock. Who would initiate it? The pro players paid attention to this question. They didn't believe that Happy would just sit there and watch Tyranny defeat them. Happy would certainly struggle. Even if they lost in the end, they wouldn't go down without a fight. Soft Mist. The camera suddenly shifted over to Soft Mist. Dragon breaks the ranks. Magic gathered at the tip of her spear. Soft Mist raised her weapon, ready to charge through. Was she planning on breaking past the surrounding enemies to open up a path? However, Tyranny reacted promptly. River Sunset, Emperor's Fist. Spear vs. Fist. The clash between the two rookies continued. Dragon Breaks the ranks was slightly stronger than Emperor's Fist, but not to the point of completely overwhelming the opponent. River Sunset staggered back, but Soft Mist's momentum had been stopped completely. A figure dashed for the opening created from River Sunset's stumble. Lord Grimm. Shing cut. An arc of light flashed across the field. Suddenly, an arm reached towards him from the side. Tiger flips the mountain. A brawler mid-level skill, strong enough to block the Shing cut. Yishu had wanted to seize this opening to break through Tyranny's defenses, but who knew how many people were carefully watching over his every move. Lord Grimm immediately stopped. Lin Jingyan had done his best to time the tiger flips the mountain so that Yi Xu wouldn't be able to dodge it, but he hadn't thought that Yi Xu could suddenly stop moving. Had he predicted he would be intercepted, Lin Jingyan could not wait for Yi Xu to make his next move. If he saw the move and then countered, Yi Xu would act before he did. As a result, he decided to take the initiative turn, double crescent fang. He swung his arms in an arc, his claws slicing at all possible openings. What could he do? Lin Jingyan looked at Lord Grimm and saw his hands moving. Ninjutsu, shadow clone technique. It was shadow clone technique again. But isn't it a bit far? If Tyranny wasn't even on guard against this move from Yi Zhu, then their years of experience were a waste. They couldn't guarantee that Lord Grimm wouldn't use shadow clone technique. After all, the hand seals to form it were extremely quick. Ninja seals could be done whenever he wanted to. It was difficult to interrupt it. They couldn't stop him from using shadow clone technique. They could at least prevent it from being an effective tool. The shadow clone was destroyed by Dark Thunder, while the real body teleported elsewhere. However, Lord Grimm was still a distance of three body lengths away from a movable rock. That was the limit of shadow clone technique. Afterwards, he saw a grenade fall one body length away from a movable rock. Does he have a way to get in front of the grenade? Flickering stab. They had seen Yi Xu use it in the group arena against Han Wen King, so they knew that Lord Grimm had this skill in his arsenal. However, Flickering Stab would only move him one unit forward. He was two units away from the grenade though, so it wouldn't be able to get to him where he wanted. Yishu had no way to get past the grenade in time. The grenade exploded, implosion, grenade. 
The powerful shockwave sent Lord Grimm flying back to where he came from. But before he reached his destination, a figure jumped out to receive Lord Grimm. Ferocious Tiger Flurry. Han Wenqing directly used a high-level skill. Desert Dust began his dangerous dance in the air. Lord Grimm also answered back though, fighting until they reached the ground. But under the pressure from Ferocious Tiger Flurry, Lord Grimm could only retreat. Han Wenqing focused his attention here, ignoring everything else. For such a huge threat like Yi Xu, having someone specifically on guard against him was completely reasonable. Su Mu Chung's long-ranged support. She was too far. She couldn't put enough pressure onto Zhang Xinji. Su Mu Chung had tried to push forward to pressure him harder and get a movable rock into her firing line to completely suppress his healing. But at that distance, Dancing Rain became well into Dazzling Hundred Blossoms range. Under the threat of a Spitfire's numerous special bullets, how could she set up her firing line? Mounted Gun Su Mu Chung activated another high-level skill. However, many of the pro players saw this move and had their doubts. It was true that while under Mounted Gun's effect, she couldn't be interrupted. The problem was that it also restricted her movements. Her goal was to attack a movable rock, not to win over Dazzling Hundred Blossoms. A movable rocks could simply move away, and Dancing Rain couldn't follow. Mounted Gun. What use was that? She wasn't fighting with Dazzling Hundred Blossoms. Zhang Shenji as everyone expected him to. As soon as he saw Dancing Rain use Mounted Gun, he immediately moved away. But after only a few steps, the ground in front of him suddenly lit up. Magic began to flow. It was a summoning formation. The pro player's eyes lit up. So Happy's had made arrangements here. Dancing Rain had forced a movable rock into the jaws of the beast. The camera shifted over to concealed light. They saw him stick close to a wall, trying to make himself invisible as he waved his staff. In reality, none of Tyranny had overlooked him. You could see it simply by noticing that Concealed Light had never able to get to his four summons to gather together. Tyranny had been on guard against his most threatening move, Elemental Beast King Formation, the entire time. The present situation showed this. There were three summons, Frost Eagle, Wyvern, Spirit Cat, all surrounding Dark Thunder. Otherwise, Lin Jingyun's Dark Thunder would have rushed forward to take out Concealed Light or Little Cold Hands. These two characters had constantly been under Happy's protection, but now that Happy had begun going on the offense, they didn't have time to take care of them. Lin Jingyun's Dark Thunder had leapt into the air to swipe his claws at the Thunder Eagle. Fighting with summons was treating the symptoms but not the cause. Lin Jingyan wanted to quickly break away from these three summons to directly attack the summoner. WushaWorldAudio.com However, just when he swiped his claws, the Thunder Eagle turned into a bolt of lightning and disappeared. Hit! Lin Jingyan knew that he hadn't. This only happened when the summon was killed, or when the summon was resummoned. Lin Jingyan heard an eagle cry and turned to look over. A new thunder eagle had flown out from the summoning circle in front of a movable rock. With a thunderclap, it dove towards a movable rock. A movable rock dodged, but a second summoning circle had appeared next to him. The wyvern and spirit cat next to Dark Thunder immediately rushed towards a movable rock. Lin Jingyan had no one on him now, but his heart began to drop. Two of the summons were moving towards there, and over there was a new Thunder Eagle and a Frost Wolf. All four beasts were on the verge of gathering together. He had to stop one of them no matter what. Dark Thunder twisted his body to attack, but the Spirit Cat was too nimble and dodged it. Lin Jingyan didn't try again. The spirit cat was the hardest of the four to hit. He tapped lightly on his keyboard and Dark Thunder leapt into the air. 
He stretched out his hand, grabbing the tail of the wyvern. His two hands pulled. Fling. The wyvern was thrown as far away as possible, and then powerful knee strike. Dark thunder rushed towards concealed light. Killing the wyvern wouldn't solve the problem. Throwing it far away was the smartest choice. The frost wolf walked out from the summoning circle. As for a movable rock, the backlight cross in his hands glowed as he fought against the frost wolf. Crusader's trials. The skill he had brought into the match was being used again to contend with the frost wolf. A third summoning circle appeared. Luo Ji was preparing to re-summon a wyvern, but Dark Thunder had already closed in. He raised his hands and threw a brick. A figure flashed by, blocking it. And when Yi had used little cold hands to body block the brick, preventing concealed light's summon from being interrupted. The wyvern would be summoned again, but... He'd better not think of trying to use Elemental Beast King formation. There was more than enough time for Dark Thunder to reach Concealed Light. Little Cold Hands. With a slap, he swatted him aside. The healer was always the focal point in a team competition, yet Lin Jingyan had ignored him. Concealed Light, only Concealed Light had the power for Happy to make a comeback. For Elemental Beast King. Concealed Light shook his wand. The four beasts seemed to hear the owner's command and began to circulate their elemental power. The four elements gathered together, but before the spell could be completed, the summoning circle shattered. Interrupted. A strangle. Dark Thunder held Concealed Light by the throat. He was pinned against the wall, unable to continue casting. It's over. The pro player chat group fell silent. It wasn't to say that they wanted Happy to win, but rather that they had hope for more twists and turns in the match. It was true that a movable rock had four summons surrounding him, but he was able to use Crusade as trials to protect himself for a bit. Then, he used Angel's wings to float into the air, greatly reducing the threat from the Frost Wolf and Spirit Cat. Zhang Jialei's Dazzling Hundred Blossoms also provided some support, shooting ice bullets at the Fire Wyvern, dealing bonus damage. Killing it would take a blink of an eye. Summons without the summoner controlling them was easy for pro players to deal with. As a result, the pro players no longer considered him as threats. After Zhang Xinji's immovable rock used Angel's wings and received help from his teammates, he was safe again. Victory was certain. Even the pro player chat group were sure of it as well. The camera had switched to Yi Xu's Lord Grimm. Pan Lin and Li Yibo were already giving him a eulogy as if the match was over. Yi Xu built the team up from scratch, ravaging through the Challenger League, slaughtering their way through the playoffs, playing three close games against Tyranny. These accomplishments could be already considered a miracle, Pan Lin said. Yes, even if Happy doesn't end up making it into the finals and winning the championships, their achievements are unprecedented in the history of glory. With the alliance continuing to develop, I doubt that anyone else would be able to ever do better. Once again, Yi Xu has a made history, Li Yibo said, and the team that he formed has endless potential. We've seen just how extraordinary each of their members are. They still have a lot of room to grow, Pan Lin said. Honorable even in defeat. Honorable even in defeat. The two finished and observed a moment of silence. Desert Dust was swinging his fist towards Lord Grimm. If this punch killed Lord Grimm, then it would be timed perfectly with their ending words. Pan Lin and Li Yibo couldn't help but think this thought. When they looked, Lord Grimm had quite a lot of health left. The two sighed helplessly. In reality, let alone killing instantly, landing the blow wasn't likely. However, the myriad manifestations umbrella in Lord Grimm's hands didn't open up to block the strike. Han Wenqing was startled. Such an egregious mistake shouldn't happen on Yi Xu, no. 
He suddenly felt uneasy. Hit. Lord Grimm seemed to shatter into pieces. At the same time, the sound of a cat crying could be heard. The black spirit cat was sent flying by Desert Dust Punch. What happened? Everyone saw it clearly. Lord Grimm had turned into a spirit cat. Glory didn't have transformation skills. There was only one other possibility. Summon a skill. Switch. The fuck. The spirit cat had been summoned by fucking Lord Grimm. The pro player chat group went into an uproar. Lord Grimm appeared behind a movable rock. Angel's wing. The light has blinded you. Ye Xu exclaimed. Assassin skill. Life risking strike. How the fuck? Where'd that come from? He has two Nightwalker weapon forms. I thought he already used both Nightwalker skills. The pro player chat group was in an uproar again. End chapter.